Street food like grilled starch sausage, once hailed as a national snack, is made from leftover bones, restaurant swill, and slaughterhouse scraps mashed into bone paste. Do these ingredients look appetizing? The culinary delight that is Luo Su Fen, or Chinese river snail rice noodle, has finally met its downfall. In a shocking twist, it turns out that the secret ingredient behind its pungent aroma is not an exotic spice but a stinky sauce rumored to be made from human feces. When you find out your favorite prepared dish, like braised pork belly, is actually made from pork jowl full of lymph nodes, can you still eat it? A bottle of Tinghua liquor, priced as high as 58,000 yuan, which is about 8,000 US dollars, turns out to be just double distilled liquor with mint extract. Then there are fire extinguishers that make the fire bigger, fireproof glass that isn't fireproof at all, and more. These are some fake and shoddy products exposed during this year's CCTV 315 Evening Gala. March 15th is World Consumer Rights Day, and it's only on this day that the CCP will expose some suspected fake and shoddy products and enterprises through its biggest mouthpiece media, CCTV. Although it's mostly just a facade, it still sheds light on some dark secrets. Let's take a look at what's been exposed this year. 1. Starch sausage made from mashed bone paste For a long time, many consumers thought that starch sausages, while possibly containing more starch than real meat to lower costs, were at least safe to eat. But recent revelations have been shocking. According to the 315 Evening Gala, some brands of starch sausage products have actually added bone to human consumption. This has breached many people's bottom lines. Because starch sausage is cheap and looks delicious, it is one of the favorite snacks among young people. Therefore, this news immediately sparked discussions on social media and even trended on the top search list. Many young people lament that they've come to the point of eating starch sausage, only to find out it contains bone paste, which only animals eat. Starch sausage doesn't just contain starch, it also contains meat, but this meat is called bone paste. Some dead livestock, leftover bones, restaurant swill, and slaughterhouse scraps can all be made into bone paste. So any food containing bone paste is not recommended for human consumption. Experts point out that bone paste ingredients are typically used in pet food production, not in human food. Long-term consumption of starch sausage with such inappropriate additives pose health risks. At the same time, the TV program also mentioned that China has not yet formulated specific national standards for the subdivision of starch sausages, and the standards for water, fat, and other contents set by companies are also vague. This is exacerbating market chaos and the potential for infringing on consumer rights. Not just bone paste, on March 17th, a consumer in Dalian even found chicken feathers in the starch sausage. When I was almost done eating the sausage, I found a chicken feather inside, which was gross. I almost threw up everything I ate last night. It's too unsanitary. If he has seen this following video, he might have understood why there were chicken feathers in the sausage. This is a small factory that produces meat filling. We could see a worker throwing an unskinned dead chicken directly into a blender. The mixed meat falls directly onto a mat on the ground, then two other workers collect it in a large plastic bag to be sold as finished meat filling to unscrupulous merchants who make fake food unfit for consumption. After this bone paste starch sausage incident, not only did it shock consumers, but it also affected street vendors who make a living selling grilled sausages. After watching the 315 Evening Gala, this vendor who sells grilled sausages at a stall cut all of her stored sausages and threw them away. She knew she could no longer make a living. 2. Prepared braised pork belly with preserved vegetables made from pork jowl Braised pork belly with preserved vegetables is a must-have dish for Chinese New Year's. Its vibrant color and succulent taste make it suitable for all ages. In recent years, this dish has become one of the top-selling prepared dishes. However, what you may not know is that instead of using pork belly as a main ingredient, some unscrupulous merchants have substituted it with inferior pork jowl which is a meat that is between the pig head and torso. Since this part of the meat contains a large amount of lymph nodes, it's not recommended for consumption. When reporters from CCTV posed as buyers and conducted undercover investigations at a ready-made food factory in Fuyang City, they uncovered an industry secret that has long existed. Although the merchants claim to have removed the lymph glands, 
the lymph nodes were still visible on the cooked meat. While the staff insisted that the cooked pork jowl tastes no different from pork belly, when asked whether this lymphatic meat is harmful to human health, one worker said, I wouldn't eat it. The reporter also visited another ready-made food factory, and what he saw was even more shocking. Upon entering the premise, he found a large amount of frozen pork jowls piled up in the yard. Some of the outer packaging had been opened and exposed. The forklifts used to move the meat to and from the food processing workshop had zero sanitation protocols. The workshop was even more filthy, with sewage flowing across the floor. The thawed raw meat and cooked meat piled directly on the countertops. Even bags containing raw meat were placed directly on cooked meat. The packaging and processing areas were equally chaotic. It's worth noting that their products are divided into different grades, including prepared dishes made from real pork belly, which is much more expensive. However, they don't specify this on the packaging of the prepared dishes. These are differentiated by their respective packaging colors and are sold to different distributors. During the investigation, the person in charge of these pre-made food companies said as long as the sales of the prepared dishes continue to boom, their business has become popular. With both production and sales booming, they are busy from morning to night all year round. On the evening of March 15, the local market supervision bureau in Fuyang City conducted a surprise inspection of another ready-made food factory and found not only the use of pork jowls, but also worrying sanitation conditions on site. Their dirty floors and filthy production equipment raise serious hygiene concerns. What's even more shocking is that much of the cooked meat had grown moldy. This man tried to feed the braised pork belly with preserved vegetables he bought to his dog, but even the dog refused to eat it, just like the bone paste sausage. Pork jowl, also known as lymphatic meat, typically refers to meat that has not had its lymphatic tissue removed. Lymph nodes are an important part of the immune system in animals, responsible for clearing pathogens from the body. Therefore, lymph nodes contain a large number of bacteria, viruses, etc., which are difficult to completely kill during cooking, posing a health risk when consumed by people. According to the law, these non-edible parts need to be removed before meat products are put on the market. However, many unscrupulous merchants are unwilling to do this procedure and simply sell meat with lymphatic tissue at a lower price. Not only are various ready-made food manufacturers using this, but all kinds of cooked meat products as well as fillings for buns, dumplings, and meatballs also use this type of meat. If you encounter preserved meat like this while dining out, definitely don't eat it. Look at all those lymph nodes on it. This is clearly preserved meat made from lymphatic meat. This is the preserved meat our restaurant owner bought online for 12.9 yuan per 500 grams, intending to use it as restaurant ingredients. You see, this is how it looks when you open the package. The meat seemed to be covered with a layer of glue and was shiny and oily. When you touch it, it feels a bit like plastic. Let's slice it and see what it looks like inside. Those unfamiliar with food ingredients might not see any problems, but those who understand can clearly see that this is lymphatic meat. Stir-frying it makes it even easier to tell. The owner said she bought it to make stir-fried garlic moss with preserved meat, but as soon as I saw it, I knew there was something wrong with it. How can this be sold? What if customers have issues after eating it? So, I asked the owner to report this merchant to the platform. Now, take another look at the large particles on this meat. You can instantly tell it's lymphatic meat. These meat buns smell delicious, but I dare not eat them. Today, let me reveal what kind of meat some bun shops like this use as fillings. This bag of meat is only around 10 yuan. I wonder if you've ever bought pork for 4 yuan per pound. These are all meat scraps, also known as meat residue, which are the leftover soaked fat and some bad meat from a pork stall. Some pieces of meat may have a few yellow granular parts, which are lymph nodes. Families don't buy such meat. It's usually purchased by unscrupulous merchants to make meat fillings for steamed buns or dumplings. Now, let's throw these meat scraps into the meat grinder and grind them into minced meat. Can you still tell if the meat looks good or not? But if you look closely, you can still see the lymph nodes inside. Add some salt, MSG, and pepper. This is a meat flavoring enhancer. Then add some preservatives for the dumpling filling. 
light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, green onions. Now mix them evenly and make a few dumplings to steam. These dumplings look really nice and when you open it they smell delicious too. You can hardly tell the quality of the meat filling. 3. Adding stinky sauce to luo su fen. Luo su fen, which smells bad but tastes delicious, has become popular nationwide in recent years, even exported overseas. The 315 Evening Gala exposed a Luo Su Fin shop in Chengdu, where the storage cabinets and sauce bottles emitted strange odors. The kitchen environment was filthy, the walls were turning black, all the ingredients were expired, the materials were piling up like mountains. What's even more unbearable is that to make the Luo Su Fin more smelly, the shop added stinky sauce to the noodle. When the staff went to check, they were almost overwhelmed by the soul-penetrating stench. It is said that authentic Luo Su Fen sticky sauce is made from fermented sour pickles, but some Luo Su Fen may contain the controversial ingredient, manure-prepared licorice, which is basically made by placing licorice powder in bamboo tubes and soaking them in a pit of human feces. When this young man learned that his favorite Luo Su Fen was actually made with human feces, he was on the verge of mental collapse. I tolerated the starch sausages, but this, I'm genuinely angry. Are you treating others as fools if they don't get angry? We've had enough. 4. Famous bubble tea brands using expired ingredients The bubble tea industry also became a focus of attention during the 315 evening gala. Well-known stores like Goodme, Cha Panda, Shui, and others were exposed for using expired ingredients and having unsanitary handling practices. It came as a shock to consumers. Shui was caught changing the expiration dates and labels of ingredients and using ingredients that had been left overnight. Even more bewildering is the method they used to determine if ingredients had expired, which was simply by tasting them. Stores of Good Me and Cha Panda were found to mix expired ingredients with fresh ones. In one Cha Panda store, they even changed the expiration date labels after inspection personnel left in the evening. Most surprisingly, Pagoda turned rotten fruits in the store into high-end fruit platters. Employees said it didn't matter if the fruits were rotten. Customers couldn't tell the difference. It's worth noting that these exposed bubble tea shops are all well-known chain brands. If their management is in such a state, we can only wonder about the conditions in smaller shops. 5. The Tinghua Liquor, priced at 58,600 yen per bottle. Since 2020, a so-called high-end business liquor called Tinghua Liquor has appeared on the consumer market. With extensive advertising campaigns, this relatively unknown liquor has become widely recognized in just three years. What's even more astonishing is its price. It's reported that the standard edition of Tinghua Liquor is priced around 6,000 yuan, while the premium edition with 53% alcohol costs a staggering 58,600 yuan. A CCTV reporter visited a Tinghua liquor experience store where advertisements claimed the liquor has various health benefits, including boosting immunity, improving sleep, enhancing male function, regulating physiological disorders, and anti-aging properties. An employee even told reporters that the health benefits of Tinghua liquor are internationally patented. Public records show that Qinghai Spring Medicinal is behind Tinghua liquor. The pharmaceutical company once hired two Nobel Prize winners as chief scientists, one of whom is known as the father of Viagra. However, despite being a billion-dollar flagship product of the company, this high-end packaged liquor isn't as miraculous as it seems. The agent responsible for the patent said that anyone can apply to patent their so-called inventions, but whether it can be recognized as a patent is another matter. Furthermore, he mentioned that the cooling agent mentioned in the patent for Tinghua liquor is not some high-tech substance, it's just a common peppermint extract. The so-called double activation of Tinghua liquor is nothing more than double distillation of the liquor. What's even more ludicrous is the inspiration behind Tinghua liquor. The founder, Zhang Xuefeng, claims a Taoist god gave him the inspiration in a dream. I dreamt that I was looking for a panacea on Kunlun Mountain. I was looking for a liquor panacea. Someone who looked like Taishang Lao Shun floated over to me, held my left hand, and wrote the word live with his fly whisk. Afterward, he was inspired by the saying, water on the tongue is life, and began research and development from human saliva. He finally managed to create this premium-priced Tinghua liquor.
Zhang Xuefeng even claimed that his liquor is not of this world, but a great blessing bestowed by the heavens. He also says that the price of 58,600 yuan per bottle is too cheap. He says it's worth more. Tinghua Liquor was called out by the TV program for false advertising and breaking the law, but Tinghua turned around and sued them in retaliation. Interestingly, Chinese state media used to promote Tinghua Liquor. One netizen lamented, The media who supported Tinghua before are now slapping it in the face. Why? Could it be because Tinghua owed advertising fees? 6. Fire Extinguishers That Can't Extinguish Fires this is a well-known hardware and electrical market in eastern China, where wholesalers sell fire extinguishers. However, some merchants left undercover journalists trembling with fear. If you buy one extinguisher for 30 yuan, that one won't extinguish the fire. I can guarantee it won't put out the fire. The more you try to put out the fire, the bigger it gets. This journalist learned that there is a wide range of fire extinguishers sold here, from cheap to expensive. Based on the content of fire extinguishing agents inside the bottle, they are roughly divided into standard fire extinguishers that can extinguish fires, substandard fire extinguishers that contain a small amount of agent but are not effective, and non-standard fire extinguishers that cannot extinguish fires at all. So why do sellers continue to sell extinguishers knowing they're ineffective, and why do buyers purchase them despite knowing they won't work? It's because of supplier corruption. Furthermore, many of the retail shop owners who make their purchases here don't mind reselling fake products. 7. Fire-resistant glass that doesn't resist fire Now, let's take a look at fire-resistant glass that doesn't resist fire. When the reporter posed as a buyer and asked if the store had fire-resistant glass, one merchant directly said they didn't have any. When asked what fire-resistant glass was, another merchant replied, the glass is the same, but we put a fire-resistant label on it. Whatever label you want, we'll put it on. Another merchant outright said it's fake but can still work, and many stores do the same. They even claim they can provide corresponding fire-resistant inspection reports for ordinary glass that doesn't resist fire. Because the products are inspected by the companies themselves, they prepare expensive fire-resistant glass for inspection, pretend they produce it, obtain qualified inspection reports, and then openly sell counterfeit products. The annual 315 Evening Gala of CCTV, which began on March 15, 1991, has aired 34 episodes so far. While it has exposed some businesses manufacturing fake and shoddy products and played a certain role in protecting consumer rights, it is often criticized for being too superficial and even seen as propaganda to make the CCP look good. In order to organize a 315 Evening Gala, CCTV reporters investigate many companies suspected of producing fake and shoddy products, then collectively report their findings on March 15th, instead of informing the public sooner or reporting it to relevant authorities. Therefore, some netizens have raised questions. Why are so many problems discovered every year, but the media do not inform the public in a timely manner? Since the problems are already known, the public should be informed immediately to prevent more public harm. Waiting until March 15 for a collective report is not in the best interest of the public. Some netizens even say the program is a blackmail shakedown. CCTV is acting like an unscrupulous PR firm who protects those that pay, but those who don't get exposed on TV. This type of selective exposure doesn't help the public in the least. Consumers once again suffer. The correct approach is to publicly expose illegal activities in the market every day, not just on 315. Maybe even rename the show 365 to expose corruption every day.